thank you for hosting the uh, the event today and to your team at Bosco. But I'll um, I'll share my screen and uh, and begin a, a short presentation and, and take some questions afterwards. I'll start off with a with a summary video, um, and uh, and go from there. Kimpton Kiwana Bay project is a new luxury five-star resort development um, located on the world-famous Grand Anse Beach in Grenada. It's been recently voted by both Condé Nast Traveller and CNN as one of the top beaches in the world. The Kimpton Kiwana Bay project will feature an infinity edge pool, a state-of-the-art gym, spa facilities, multiple restaurants and bars and lounges. The resort will be operated and branded by Kimpton Hotels and Restaurants. It is part of the Intercontinental Hotels Group, one of the largest hotel chains in the world. Kimpton Kiwana Bay is currently under construction and will be handed over to Kimpton in 2022. Suites and studios are now available for sale through the Grenada Citizenship by Investment Program for the Kimpton Kiwana Bay project. The Grenada Citizenship by Investment Program offers investors the opportunity to seek a second or alternative citizenship through a straightforward and speedy process. Persons have actually visited and they have seen what is taking place on the ground. It's not just a project in name, it's a project that is actually off the ground. You can, the investors are able to see what they are investing in. Phase one of the project, which comprises the Calebra and Juara buildings, are completely sold out and title has already been passed to the owners of those units. Phase two, which is the Matura building, which sits on the beach and houses most of the amenities of the hotel, is well under construction. Our final phase, which is the Kiawa building, has broken ground and we currently have limited availability of units for sale at the minimal allowable price of $220,000. The main benefits of the Kimpton Kiwana Bay project are that it's on the best location on the best beach in Grenada. Purchasers receive title deeded real estate. The project is well under construction. We have a transparent revenue sharing model. There's no annual fees and we have a great brand in Kimpton hotels and restaurants. That's a, a summary video, gives you a, a good overview, but essentially Kimpton Kiwana Bay is a five-star luxury resort and development located um, ideally on the, um, on the famous Grand Dance Beach. Uh, Kimpton Hotels and Restaurants is part of the Intercontinental Hotel group of companies. And as a developer, we're selling high quali quality shared ownership condominium real estate. So it's, a, it's an actual title deed, which the investors will, will receive. Uh, it's for sale through Grenada Citizenship by Investment Program, and it's starting at the minimum investment threshold of $220,000. And it also offers a great opportunity uh, for rental income through a very transparent rental management program. For those that don't know where Grenada is, it's located on the southern end of the Eastern Caribbean chain of islands, known as the Windward Islands. Um, and a little bit of background about uh, Grenada. It's a member of the British Commonwealth and it's a full participating member of CARICOM. It's a, it's a small island, it's 344 square kilometers and has a population of 112,000. The official language is English and it has an idyllic climate of a, of, with a mean temperature of 29 degrees Celsius. Uh, the economy of Grenada is driven by three main sectors, and that's tourism, agriculture, and St. George's University. Um, it's a very premium and sought after tourism destination, especially for North America and European tourists. Um, and it's poised for further growth, um, especially after, after co the COVID um, situation improves and tourism is already picking up there because they've been able to manage the COVID situation very well in Grenada. It's known as the Island of Spice because of its production of nutmeg and mace crops, of which it is the, one of the world's largest exporters. And then the University of St. George's um, has over 8,000 students from 140 different countries. It's one of the world's largest American credit, accredited medical schools and really is a, is a fantastic uh, campus and university. In fact, one out of every 100 um, accredited American uh, medical practitioners as studied at St. George's University. It really is impressive. 
In terms of uh, airlift, for, given the relative, uh, the, the, given the size of Grenada, it really does have an impressive airlift. It's got direct flights um, from the US, 16 a week, the UK, Germany, Canada, and very good uh, regional um, flight and, and connection from a, on a daily service within the Caribbean. You know, the tourism uh, statistics uh, are fundamentally what, uh, what has driven this project. And there is a real shortage of, um, of hotels in Grenada. There's under 500 four or five star hotel rooms and the, the tourism and demand for, for, for hotel rooms, especially at the top end, has increased dramatically in the last 10 years. Um, and Kimpton Kiwana Bay will be the first internationally branded hotel uh, in the country. Just to highlight some benefits and key attributes of the Grenada Citizenship by Investment Program. It's a very fast, efficient and straightforward process. 60 to 90 days of processing time. We're seeing even quicker than that at the moment. Um, it allows the Grenada Citizenship allows visa-free travel to over 140 countries, including the EU Schengen states, the UK, Singapore, China and Russia. There's no interview, education, language test or management experience that is required for an applicant. And there's no residency requirements and, and dual citizenship is permitted. Also, there is the ability to sell after five years and the secondary purchaser of real estate will qualify for citizenship by investment as well. So after a holding period of five years, um, investors in Kimpton Kiwana Bay can sell and obviously retain their citizenship for life and the new purchaser will also qualify for citizenship. And that's only permissible with the Kimpton Kiwana Way project because it is title deeded real estate. Some other features of the program are that Grenada is very fortunate to have an E2 visa treaty with the United States. It's one of the, the few uh, treaty countries um, and it's a five year uh, validity on the E2 visa. Grenada is also an incredibly safe island, one of the safest in the Caribbean. Residents, citizens are e eligible for substantial discounts at St. George's University. That's up to 90% discounts for undergraduate uh, degrees. Uh, there's huge integrity with the Grenadian passport. It's a carefully managed program with rigorous background checks. Also, there's no tax on worldwide income, wealth, inheritance, or capital gains. And there's also generous incentives for businesses. There's attractive government fees for families, and it's also um, beneficial in the fact that government fees are only payable on the approval of citizenship. This slide shows which family members can be included with a citizenship by investment application, and essentially four generations of one family and, and one app can, can be included on one application of $220,000 including non-married siblings of the main applicant and the spouse. So it's very generous and inclusive in terms of what family members can be in included on an application. This slide just shows a letter from the Citizenship by Investment Unit uh, and the Grenada government saying that Kiwana Bay has been approved for the minimum investment threshold of $220,000. And then I just wanted to give you a sales update um, on, on where Kiwana Bay is as of uh, no, and 1st of November. We had 323 sales in progress or complete. The project was 76% sold. 519 individuals had been approved from citizenship as a result of the investment in Kimpton Kiwana Bay. Uh, we've seen a huge diversity of investors. We've had investors from over 30 countries and these include China, Vietnam, India, South Africa, Russia, Ukraine, and Nigeria. In Q1 and Q2, so the first half of 2020, Kimpton Kiwana Bay accounted for 57% of all CBI applications in Grenada. As mentioned, an important and standout feature of the Grenada program is the e E2 visa treaty that, uh, that Grenada has with the USA. And I'll just give a few highlights here of, of what the E2 visa treaty is. So the E2 is an investor visa that allows individuals to enter and work into the United States based on an investment that they control in the United States. 
The investment must be substantial and there's no set minimum. Investor visas are available only to citizens of certain countries that have a bilateral investor visa treaty with the United States, of which Grenada is one. Uh, if granted, the visa is valid for five years and can be renewed without limit. An application takes place directly at, the U at a US consulate that could be in Barbados in the Caribbean, or it could be in the, the country from which the applicant is applying for. Uh, the spouse of an E2 applicant has open market employment and children of an E2 applicant can attend schools in the United States that are eligible for in-state tuition, which is most states. Processing time for the E2 is, is really surprisingly quick and is usually two months. The E2 applicant and family members can spend as much or as little time as they want in the United States and also E2 visa holders can reside in the United States while their permanent residency applications are pending. This slide just gives a couple of examples of uh, successful E2 applicants. Uh, the one on the left um, was an Indian national who became a Grenadian citizen and they applied in Bridgetown and they have a validity of five years there. Uh, the visa on the right is a successful E2 applicant uh, that applied in Guangzhou in China. Uh, once they became a, you can see that their nationality is Grenadian on that. And as far as we're aware, um, a hundred uh, percent success rate exists for all Kiwana Bay investors who've gone on to do an E2 visa application. Just this gives a timeline. Um, C Grenada citizenship by an applicant, uh, CBI, Grena sorry, Grenada citizenship by investment application uh, can take um, on average about three months, two to three months of processing time, an additional month for citizenship certificate to be issued and then the E2 uh, can be another two months on top of that. So as little as, as six months, you can, um, you can be a resident or you know, living in, uh, in the United States of America. Just to go on to some uh, Kiwana Bay project uh, specific detail, um, we've been fortunate to win many awards and accolades um, from the offsite, off plan um, with, with regards to design and architecture. Um, this is a rendering on this particular page. In terms of location, Kiwana Bay really does have the premier and the prime location in Grenada. Uh, the Grand Anse Beach is famed and Condé Nast um, has, has rated it as one of the top 20 beaches in the world. And that we're on the southern tip of the Grand Anse Beach. Absolutely ideal location, very popular uh, for tourists. And it's uh, 10 minutes from the international airport, 10 minutes from the very popular St. George's University and 10 minutes from the capital of St. George's. So an absolute prime location. The site itself is made up of four uh, condominiums, um, two of them which are complete, um, which is Juara and Calebra, Matura, where the majority of the amenities are serviced and housed, um, is, uh, is close to, to uh, practical completion. And then Kiawa, which is the fourth building, is uh, Construction has commenced then. And we'll show you some, uh, some pictures coming up now. Just to give you a construction update, um, and, and I'll, I'll play you a short video now. Video was the update, just got a few still images here. Um, as you can see, that's the Matura building. 
at an advanced stage of construction. Uh, this is the foundations of Kiawa, which is the, the fourth and final building which is under construction now. 147 workers on site this week. It's the only project actively under construction in the whole of Grenada. And, and we're fortunate to be at a, an advanced stage and the foundations in the early stages of Kiawa, which is the final phase, are coming along very quickly. All units have a sea facing view. Uh, this is a picture of the rent of, a, of the model room on site. Uh, this is a rendering of what the, uh, the hotel bar will be, which is on the fifth floor of Matura. We recently had the Prime Minister of Grenada on site. I can share some videos and commentary from, from his visit if you want afterwards or at a, at a later stage. And we also had the Citizenship by Investment Unit um, visit um, a month or two ago. And you know, as Grenada, as Kimpton Kiwana Bay continues to be the flagship project and account for the majority of all citizenship by investment applications uh, in Grenada, we uh, continue to work well with the government and ha have good support from them. Uh, and I'm actually just going to play a, a short video here from uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs in Grenada. Kiwanabe is a success story for all of us in Grenada. In fact, all Grenadians live in everywhere because we are absolutely uh, dependent on tourism. Kiwanabe has turned out to be one of the most positive developments in our tourism industry. In fact, I live in the Grandlands area. Kiwanabe is located on one of the best beaches in the Caribbean. And in fact, we say one of the best beaches in the world. And I drive by there every day because I live in the area. And as I see the buildings going up, I, I feel a, a sense of pride, a sense of joy, uh, knowing that that hotel is going to bring us uh, for the development of our country, development of our economy, but also it's a very beautiful uh, building, uh, building, very beautiful hotel, and certainly at the high end that uh, Grenada wants. Grenada encourages uh, tourism at the high end level because we are a very small country, and Kiwana Bay sits absolutely in the right position for us on our tourism industry. We believe that these investments, as in the case of, 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 of your hotel, our hotel, as we call it in Grenada, is important for the development of the country. So yes, we are absolutely supportive of it. We are able to say that we endorse Kiwana Bay. We are able to say that investment in this TBI program through Kiwana Bay it is, something, it is something that the government is absolutely supportive of and something that we know, we know will lead to enhance development for Grenada. And I'm sure anybody who is involved in it will be happy with the results of that investment. I want to, on my own behalf, welcome Kiwana B to Grenada as part of the development of our country. So as I mentioned, Kimpton is a brand that sits within the Intercontinental Hotels Group, which is, I think, the second largest hospitality group in the, in the world. Kimpton is actually their fastest growing and boutique uh, brand within the IHG Group. Um, they've got 67 Kimpton hotels already open around the world and 32 in the pipeline. And obviously it's gonna be the first internationally branded hotel in Grenada. And um, we think the IHG brand is gonna be very powerful and very influential in making it a operational success and, and, um, and, and be very good at making sure the occupancy is high and is op operationally sound as a project. So really my last slide now is just to say why choose Kimpton Kiwana Bay, run through some of the key benefits and, uh, of the project. I think its location is so important. It's absolutely on a prime location on the Grand Dance Beach. We're offering title deeded real estate. So it's freehold ownership, very different and with a lot more benefits than shares and investment trusts and some of the other projects that are out there, but so it's title deeded real estate. Because it's title deeded real estate, it means that secondary purchasers are eligible to apply for citizenship by investment. So after there is a, an exit on your real estate after a holding period. The internationally branded hotel of Kimpton Hotels and Resorts is very powerful as discussed. And importantly, we've got Kimpton has got a benchmark, a performance benchmark set against uh, similar, similar resorts in the Caribbean. So there's some real accountability and uh, for Kimpton in order to perform, which should give investors some confidence. There is a great opportunity for rental income through a very transparent, transparent hotel rental management program. The 
Rental management program is a percentage of revenue. It's not a percentage of profit. Um, so it's very transparent. And it's important to point out that the interests of the operator, Kimpton, the developer, and the investors are all aligned. It's all going to be making returns from a, a revenue share. And everyone's going to have a big desire to have the operational success of the, of the project and of the hotel. A real key differentiator of Kimpton Kiwana Bay is it's at an advanced stage of construction and it is on track for handover in late 20, 2021, so a year from now. There's no out-of-pocket annual fees for investors, can't be called upon to uh, make additional investments or, or in that regard, did any future deductions will be made from the rental program revenue prior to distribution. So we really have created a hassle-free ownership. And that concludes my, my presentation. Um, maybe Alyssa, you've, you've got some questions that have come in, which I'd be very happy to answer. Ooh, Alyssa, I think you're, I think you're on, on mute. Okay. Yeah. Yes. No. Thomas, thank you so much for your presentation. It was a pleasure to see such beautiful, sunny, shots on a cold uh, gray Moscow day. It was really a pleasure. Uh, thank you so much for very interesting and um, uh, good, uh, well done presentation. And I have some question. Can you please tell me uh, a couple of words regarding banking system in Grenada? How many banks uh, is, uh, are in the Grenada? And uh, is it possible to open a business account in United States Bank if I have a residence in Grenada or I have a company there? So will it be possible to get business account and individual account? Um, so, if, yes. so there's two main banks in Grenada. Um, they, they sort of have uh, um, recipro reciprocity and are connected. You know, a lot of the funds that are sent to Grenada do sort of go through the US banking system um, and sort of cleared there before coming into Grenada. Uh, but as a Grenada citizen, um, one would, um, and an investor in Kimpton Kiwana Bay, you'd obviously be earning title deeded real estate. So you would qualify for, you'd get a tax identification number like any other and all Grenada citizens opening a bank account in Grenada is, is, relative, is straightforward. Um, mm -hmm. so, so that's not a problem. There's no, no issue. That's very straightforward. And then with a, if you went on to do the E2 uh, investment visa, then you'd be investing mm -hmm. in, in the United States. So you would inevitably be having bank accounts um, and um, in the United States, uh, you know, linked link to that. Okay, um, uh, Thomas, and in general, if uh, there is a request for the bank account, uh, um, as you might know, there are some banks uh, in Santa Lucia, which is close to Grenada, and uh, Saint Vincent and Grenadines, also the, uh, those islands are close to Grenada. Uh, and um, some of our clients are interested in opening uh, business accounts in that jurisdiction. So is it possible to open a business account in Grenada having a company outside of Grenada, like for account for non-resident? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I am not a, a tax or a banking expert, but I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm confident it is. And if anyone has any particular needs, we can follow up directly. But I mean, it's part of the CARICOM, you know, it's part of the Caribbean. Um, and I, I, don't, I don't think it's a, a problem having or an issue to have a bank account okay. in a Caribbean country. Super, thank you so much, Thomas. Yeah. If it's linked to their business, then I suppose it sort of depends what the, yeah. the business activities are and where the assets are held, etc. But again, I also don't think that's that's a problem. You know, as you say, you've got clients with with accounts in St. Lucia, um, etc. already. So I, d I don't see any 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 real problem there or difficulty. Okay, great. Thank you so much.